to the arm area. And with the arm area, if they, for some women, for some pregnant women, they might have some swelling in here. For my wife, she didn't have any swelling in her ankles at all. She had swelling in her wrists. And uh, she developed carpal tunnel syndrome just because of it. So that's why I make sure you ask them any kind of problems that they have beforehand so you can be aware of those things. And for my wife, the best treatment that she used was a contrast method. Method So like five to 10 minutes of hot and then five to 10 minutes of cold and then kind of alter back and forth then. But it helped defer the nerve endings then so it wasn't as painful then for her. But a couple months after she gave birth, that's when the symptoms started to go away with the carpal tunnel syndrome. Okay, so now we're gonna go up the arm and for more circulatory types of massage, just kind of glide up with a little bit more pressure and back down with a little bit less. So up and then back down with a little bit less. And in general, with the limbs, you want to make sure you go up towards the heart with a little bit more and back away with a little bit less, again, for circulatory. And for pregnant women, you can perform a little bit of stretching in this pec area. So I'm gonna to come to the side here. And just to make sure you don't expose the breast area, you can just bring this over a little bit or you can kind of do a little bit of a tuck underneath there then too. And you can kind of stretch out right at the pecs. Or you can kind of stretch, kind of glide down too then. And you can concentrate more on the forearms here, you can see. And the hands. And a lot of stuff can be considered just regular massage too. But again, you want to be aware of any, any counterindications. So things that you should not massage or any kind of problems they have. And again, if they are high risk, make sure you get permission from their doctor. And if they are high risk, more than likely they have a phone number of their doctor or the hospital they can get in touch with right then and there. So you can ask permission then too. And with the fingers again, you can kind of glide off. But again, look for and see if there's any kind of swelling at all. And the more severe form of swelling, it's called pitting edema. It's when you press in, lift up, and it's still indented. Um, that's the type you don't want to massage that. But there are types of massages called lymphatic drainage. But with lymphatic drainage, you want to make sure there's no other underlying problems too, just to be safe. And with the hands, as you can see here, here, I call it pinky pinky wrap and then spread this area. Or you can even interlock the fingers like this. You kind of stretch out the palm area too. And you can even rock it a little bit too. And if you need to finish an area and go to the other side, you can use like lighter techniques. I call them nerve techniques. It's just a nice transition when you're gonna go from one area to the next. Or you can even kind of feather it a little bit too.